Hi, it's Pastor Paul L. Anderson here at the Fountain of Raleigh Fellowship, where we believe God's blessings never stop flowing. It is Satisfaction Saturday, Labor Day weekend. Oh, what a wonderful time it is. I hope you're celebrating all the goodness of the Lord. If you're in the Raleigh area, we hope that you will come to the African-American cultural celebration that's taking place downtown and see the big stage. There's so much happening there. Celebrate with us there. Today, I want to invite you to look with me into the gospel according to St. Matthew, the eighth chapter, verses 14 through 17. Very powerful text. It's a text that we find out that Jesus is now at Peter's house. And while he is there, Peter's mother-in-law is sick on the bed with a high fever. Now, you know, it is so amazing to find out that Peter has a mother-in-law. You would think a man with a personality such as his, nobody probably wouldn't want to be with him. But it goes to show that God has somebody for all of us. Well, Peter, even though he was always vocal, Peter was a caring soul. Peter has a mother-in-law who's sick. And while he is there at home and Jesus is with him, he begins to tell Jesus, hey, Jesus, my mother-in-law's not feeling well. And Jesus touches her hand and her fever leaves her. Notice, I think that is so important. It doesn't say Jesus anointed her with oil. It doesn't say Jesus put his hand on her forehead, but it says he touched her hand. I think it's always amazing to know and feel the powerful of God's hand touching our hand. When Jesus touched her hand, he empowered her. Notice he touches her hand. And since he touches her hand, she decides to use her hand. She gets up out of bed and she prepares them a meal. That is so exciting. You know, it's amazing what we can do when God touches our hand. When God touches our hand, we can build houses for habitat. When God touches our hand, we can feed the homeless. When God touches our hand, we can lift up the heads of those who've been hung down. When God touches our hand, we can reach out and touch the hand of someone else to make this world a better place if we can. That evening, after Jesus had done this great thing, the people began to say, this man must be possessed with a devil. He can cast out spirits and command people to be healed. Jesus looks at them and he says, I don't believe y'all. The fulfillment of God's word is right here. Even the prophet is Isaiah said that he took our sickness and removed our disease. Jesus has to remind them that he is God's son. He is the one who was prophesied to say that he will take away our sickness and he will remove our disease. Isn't it amazing? The people who should have embraced what Jesus was doing, they were pushing against him. You and I should never be distracted. We should never be confused when those people who are the beneficiaries of God's blessings try to call it something else simply because they were not the ones to make it happen. You and I must always remember the power that we have when Jesus touches our hand. I hope today you and I can pray, Lord, touch my hand so I can reach out and touch somebody's hand to make this world a better place because I know I can. Always know that you are exceedingly and abundantly blessed. We invite you to join us early on tomorrow morning at 7 o'clock a.m. where God pours out his spirit for our virtual time of worship. Then join us in person at 9 o'clock a.m. here at the fountain where we'll celebrate God's goodness and we'll break bread together. It's communion Sunday. We'll save you a seat. May God bless you. May heaven smile upon you and take the Lord with you everywhere you go. To sow a seed to the Fountain of Raleigh Fellowship, visit our newly redesigned website, thefountainofraleigh.org, and select Sow a Seed from the homepage. Also, giving has been made easier with the new Fountain of Raleigh app, available now in the Apple App Store and Google Play Store. Download today, select Giving from the main menu, and then follow the directions to complete your giving through Subsplash. Thank you so very much for all of your gifts and donations that you've given to the Fountain of Raleigh Fellowship. We thank you for what you've done in the past, what you're currently doing, and what you will do in the future. Your gifts and donations helps us to spread the gospel of Jesus Christ, not only locally, but throughout the world. Thank you again for your gifts, and may God continue to richly bless you. It is here at the Fountain that we believe that we are exceedingly and abundantly blessed, and may you receive those blessings that God has in store for you. Okay.